Epo Maker. Epo Maker has reached out to us uh, with some new keyboards in their lineup and we are going to review them now. So the board you see on the table right here is the TH66. This keyboard is a really, really small form factor keyboard. Comes with a really nice knob. So these are MDA Profile keycaps developed by Mel Geek themselves. This keyboard does have the Gateron uh, Pro Browns in them. They come factory looped already. Not the standard factory loop that you would see on most keyboards. They are properly looped according to Gateron. You know, properly looped. You see these? Strips here, gaskets. I mean, it's still a tray mount. They just had it secured even further with Foam. gaskets. So essentially, mounting points here and mounting point here. The battery is really small. I don't know how long it would last. It's only uh, what twenty two thousand milliamp hour. Is it flexible? It's not, it's actually it's quite stiff. stiff. Hot swappable, yes. Five pin, great. So there is like PCB foam as well. So this entire thing is all foamed up except for this part, which is, you know, just came out. Got it. A lube wise, it's not, it's not 205 grade zero, that's for sure. Looks like some oil, maybe like 105. Spring. Unlooped. The main contact points seem looped, like the rails and all that. It means that did more than they, they should. They usually do, yeah. These are three pin switches. Yeah, these are the RGB top ones. They're yeah. also the full milky ones, which I think yeah. uh, sound better. But the fact that these boards are five pin board means you can swap them out to actually proper switches if you want. The knob is sound feels pretty good. Not gonna lie. Compared to the GMMK Pro. He loves molesting knobs. Like I'm a sucker for knobs. Next Bob, according to Epo Maker, this is the TH68. But we all know it's something else. It looks very similar to a board we shan't name. Literally sounds similar, has the similar features, you know. Isn't this the fucking TM680? We said not to talk about it, you Don't buy a TM680, TM680 is... The problem with TM680 is always buy random Tarbox sellers that you can't get because they really help the support the, the yeah, ODM is support for. So it's a good cheap board if it works, but if it doesn't work, at least if you get it from Epo. They deal with your shit. What switch is in this? These are Gator, uh, yellows or pro yellows? Regular. Regular as yellows. Okay, well, these are definitely stock, not loop. Zero loop. Next board. Oh, this does sound good. Ooh. So this is the TH80. So it's a 75% compared to the previous 65%. Same knob, exactly the same feel. Pretty premium, not gonna lie. Pro reds, so same treatment as the Pro Browns. They are lubed better. This does have a 2.4 gigahertz adapter, which fits into the board, convenient. I would get this. This is a really cheap board. How much is it? That's MS Hotman. Great. I mean, of course, the stabs can be fixed, you know. There's a little bit of factory loop. They tried, but uh, they didn't loop the right places. This is a board that I would buy because I like the 75% layout. It does sound good. Stabs are fixable. For the price, really worth it. I didn't realize, like, this This does have the 2.4 gigahertz adapter. This, on the other hand, does not. Same foam treatment. Uh, in terms of the mounting, I think everything is pretty much the same. Yeah, there's a tray mount. Yeah, a tray, blah, blah. tray mount, blah, 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 you know. So I'm not sure if you see this, but this is pretty interesting. So the antenna is actually integrated into the PCB. So unlike some cheap boards that do have their, their you know, wireless antenna chips being separate, this is actually integrated. So they did put some thought into this. The thing with all these boards, what I like about them, if you like RGB, right, the plate is actually white. So the RGB does shine through really well. The diffusion, can you see? Oh, it's so beautiful.
Hey kids. <laughs> Want some keyboards? One. Same color! Look at that! Amazing! TH98. Uh, 98% with numpad, exactly the same construction as the previous. There is no 2.4 gigahertz. There's now like cable routing, I guess, because like the bloody port is all the way in the center. I do not like this design because you're gonna have to find like a really thin cable. You're gonna have to have to use the ones that they provide because the cutout is inherently ultra bloody small. Sounds decent, not, not as good as the, the previous ones. These are stock rates. They are not factory loop. Look at the size of this fucking knob right here. He likes the knob. It's a chungus. It's a lechonk. There is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, adapter too. Here then here. The thing that only really irks me about is because they wanted to do a knob that's the size of your punat. His face. <laughs> they basically made it so that this key here, this is not your full size plus. Yes. Your numlock key has disappeared. These two keys, which are supposed to be here has been shifted here and the minus key which is supposed to be here is gone down. This is a proper numpad. This is not. Alternatively, like what they could have done is probably like move the two missing freaking buttons here. Just move them up here. And then this has like the plus and this has the enter. That would make it look nicer. These are the Ippo makers switches. What, what, what's the name of them again? They don't have a name. Yeah, they don't have a name. So let us open up the switches to see if they are lubed. Honestly, pretty smooth. Hmm. Very smooth switches. So they are box. That's a long ass spring. Double stage. Double stage long ass spring, yes. And let's see, are they lubed? Yeah, they are a little bit lubed. Like you can see them if you, in person. These are actually properly gasketed by gasket socks. CTC hot sock sockets. They did silicone both the bottom of the board with, you know, this, this thing. And they did silicone the plate as well. If the board is really hollow, the silicone does help with the hollowness. Helps to mute, you know, the echoey, the pings. Yes. My overall thoughts, the, the fact that they provide these boards for you know such a cheap price, they are semi-gasket mounted. Uh. I would say some of them have the silicone milk plate and all that, which you know negates the hollowness of the board. In my opinion, these boards are really really worth it. The board that I don't like the most is probably this one because of the, the whole cable situation. I really like this one. I mean it's just nice. It sounds nice. The features are well thought out. Decent keycaps that are bundled together with it. Decent, really, really nice switches. These ones, the knobs, just absolute perfection. Way better than a lot of the other knobs around. Given that the price point that they set at right is basically around 100 US dollars, they're really really cheap. I, I don't really bother much with like the typing experience because that one I know you really can't get much out of something that costs this much for manufacture. But you can get a lot more out of things like modifying it, the sound, changing your switches. And that's what a lot of people in the entry level market look for is that you can still customize it to a point where it gets you closer to some of these like several hundred dollar kilobuck keyboards. We'll probably bring this in in bare bones, so since they are 5 pin, they are hot swap, you know, just, just choose your favourite switches, choose your favourite keycaps and you know, you're, you're good to go. That's the thing about these boards is that you can, they're so cheap that you can just mess around with them and just, mm. you know, modify it. If it breaks, just get it. Yeah, you, you can change the foam because evidently the foam in there is not PE. So many things you can change and get a different sound profile of the keyboard. For such a cheap board, just mess with it. Mr. Doctor, what yes. do you think of my keyboard? Have you tried upgrading you your keyboard to something bigger? Oh, nice oh, oh. 
Rap doch da immer, Luke. 